Hey YouTube family, it's Pastor Tony, and it is very early or very late, depending how you look at it, Wednesday morning, just got off work, and uh, I felt led all day to leave a message. And I knew exactly what tonight's message is going to be. Well, let's pray first before we do anything else. Father God, we come before you, Lord, humbly and in confidence, Lord, to your throne by the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise, honor, and glory that you deserve. Father, I pray that you would be with everybody that hears this message. I pray that you would bless them and encourage them. Lift their spirits, Father. Father, we pray you'd give us strength for one more day. And we pray, Lord, that with that time you've given us, we use it wisely to tell others about your son, Jesus. Father, we pray in his name. Amen. Well, family, if... Um, haven't put a video out in about four or five days and I'm not going to show my face on this video for a couple reasons to be honest I don't look good I don't look good I don't feel good I am um, I don't know how to say it. I'm I'm I am coming to the end of my rope. I don't want this message to be a downer or a discouragement to anybody. <clears throat> but I thought I should keep it real. Because if I'm going through stuff, that means probably you're going through stuff. Nobody is immune. I mean, when you put on the full armor of God, it also comes with a huge bullseye that is on your back. And the enemy has got you in his sights. Like Paul said, uh, and I paraphrase, please forgive me, but he said, why are you surprised with all this stuff that's happening to you? Don't be surprised. You're a Christian. The devil hates you. Now, of course, I'm paraphrasing. and uh, But you get the, the meaning of it. Once you are not on his side anymore and you are on the side of the Lord, you're now his enemy. And he hates you. And he's going to do everything he can to mess with you. I've come under serious attack the last couple days. Physically, I don't feel good. I don't look good. Mentally, I'm not doing good. I'm nervous and anxious all the time. Second guessing myself. I don't know what's going on. I'm really confused lately. I'm literally hanging on by a thread scraping by my teeth and honestly I don't know how much more I can handle <clears throat> I wish I could pretend to be the the strong pastor that's got it all together 
and has all the answers to everything, but I'm not. I'm human. I'm human just like the rest of you, just like all of us. And I'm under attack just like the rest of you. I guess I'm putting this video out just because I want others to know that I feel you. I'm in the same boat. <clears throat> A lot of brothers and sisters that I go to for advice and I listen to and a lot of them I watch their videos on YouTube and stuff and uh, you know it's hard seeing a brother and sister suffer and I'm not gonna say his name but there's another brother uh, that puts out a lot of videos and and he is very anointed and he loves the Lord and I just watched one of his videos he just put out and I gotta tell you I cried most of the video because he is usually so upbeat and he's so on fire and he's so high energy and this video he put out is just so contradictory to any of that he was just beat down his hair was all messed up he was tired whooped and I've never heard him so far down I could see it in his eyes and I could hear it in his voice that he is just losing it and I just pray for him and so I know that if he's going through it I'm going through it a lot of us are going through this and I needed to put out a video okay I'm not a hundred percent strong always all the time I don't always have all the answers I'm human and I fail just like the rest of you and without going into further detail I gotta be honest this past weekend I fell I sinned and uh, I've gone to the Lord about that and I've repented and confessed my sin and he has forgiven me but I am finding it hard to forgive myself and that's guilt and shame and I know that's straight from the pits of hell that's straight from the enemy that is not from the Lord the Bible tells me he has forgiven me of my sin he doesn't remember it it is as far as removed as the East is from the West to him I'm his spotless child but I'm I tell you I'm having a hard time forgiving myself and the devil's trying to pull his tricks on me and I ask for prayer church I love you I'm going to give it to you straight. You're not going to get a diet message here. You're going to get it full strength. It's going to be right out the box. So family, I want you to know I'm praying for you because I know you're going through hard stuff. And I ask for prayer for myself. Uh, everything is coming to a crescendo and I gotta tell you it's not it's not coincidence that right after this country legalized gay marriage and I've been telling people this for months that the Lord is gonna bring the hammer down on this country and I believe that the hedge of protection is gone the body of Christ is feeling it we're gonna feel it and we're gonna be under some serious persecution now we're going to be labeled terrorists. We're going to be labeled uh, hate crime people, fear mongers. It's going to come down on us. So when it does, we have to stay rooted in prayer, in Christ, and in faith. I... am beat down I'm tired I got nothing left I mean I, I I've ran the race as hard as I can now I'm not even running this race anymore uh, I now I'm on my hands and knees and I'm crawling this race okay but you know what I'm not gonna give up and every time that demon the devil beats me down I'm gonna get back up again 
No, I don't have the strength to get back up on my feet, but I've got strength enough to get up on my hands and knees, and I will crawl to this finish line if I have to. Family, I am praying for you. Don't give up. The Lord has not given up on us. He's not left us down here to ourselves. He's not forsaken us. He's not taking his time. I truly believe that the fullness of the Gentiles is about to come in. There aren't many souls left before he closes the door. Family, get in the ark. Bring all you can with you because we don't have much time left. I don't even have any strength left in my voice. I pray for all of us in Jesus' name. I love you guys. I pray, dear God, that you send your son Jesus back for us soon, Lord, for your church is tired and we're beat down. But Lord, your will be done, not ours. Your will be done, Lord. And if we have to hold on longer just for one more soul to make it, amen. It's all worth it, Lord. Please help us, God. Strengthen us, encourage us, and be with us, Father. Lord, we love you. We pray to you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, give us the strength, Lord, to finish this faith, to finish this race. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.